Chapter 24 Kveldolf's Grief Kveldolf heard of his son Thorolf's death, and so deeply grieved was he at the tidings that he took to his bed from sorrow and age. Skallagrim came often to him and talked with him. He bade him cheer up. Anything, he said, was more fitting than to become worthless and lie bedridden. Better counsel is it that we seek to avenge Thorolf. Maybe we shall come across some of those who took part in the slaying, but if not that, yet there will be men whom we can reach and thereby displease the king. Kveldolf sang a stave. Thorolf in Northern Isle, O oh, cruel Norns, is dead. Too soon the Thunder God hath taken my warrior son. Thor's heavy wrestler, age, holds my weak limbs from fray. Though keen my spirit spurs, no speedy vengeance mine. King Harold went that summer to Upland, and then the autumn westwards to Valras and as far as Vors. Alvar Hunf was with the king, and often spoke with him about whether he would pay atonement for Thorolf, granting to Kveldolf and Skallagrim money compensation or such honors as would content them. The king did not altogether refuse this, if father and son would come to him. Whereupon, Alvar started northwards for the Firths, nor stayed his journey till he came one evening to these twain. They received him gratefully, and he remained there for some time. Gveldolf questioned Alvar closely about the doings at Sandness when Thorolf fell, what doughty deeds Thorolf had wrought before he fell, who had smote him with weapon, where he received most wounds, what was the manner of his fall. Alvar told him all that he asked, and that King Harold gave him the wound that was alone enough for his bane, and that Thorolf fell forward at the very feet of the king. Then answered Kveldolf, Good is that thou tellest, for tis an old saw that he will be avenged who falls forward, and that vengeance will reach him who stands before him when he falls. Yet it is unlikely that such good fortune will be ours. Alvar told father and son that he hoped, if they would go to the king and crave atonement, that it would be a journey to their honor, and he bade them venture thus, adding many words to that end. Kveldolf said he was too old to travel. I shall sit at home, said he. Wilt thou go, Grim? said Alvar. I think I have no errand thither, said Grim. I shall seem to the king not fluent in speech, nor do I think I shall long pray for atonement. Alvar said that he would not need to do so. We will do all the speaking for thee as well as we can. And seeing that Alvar pressed this matter strongly, Grim promised to go when he thought he could be ready. He and Alvar set them a time when Grim should come to the king. Then Alvar went away first and returned to the king.